listen, it's not all the times when we start to talk about Chelsea, and I'm the only one who's on, the, on this side as well. This guy <laughs> is here today, so I'm gonna start like this. Uh uh, they lost against a team that has no striker. How do you? No, well, we lost against. Well, last season started yesterday, but here's the thing: Chelsea lost against a Man City team without a striker. How is that possible? I mean, they're here talking about how Tuchel is the best manager in the league right now. I don't think it is. Tactically, he got it wrong. Chelsea lost against Man City. That was sort of a, a game that was supposed to show us who's better between Chelsea and Man City. Man City is better. I, guess what? I, I've been saying that Man City don't need a striker. They don't. Do, sorry, Man City need a striker. They don't. They are fine. They're beating Chelsea. A title favorite. Chile, what you gotta say? Uh, but don't... you gotta say that you lost, though. Um, losing is part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> the first though. place. And uh, I think you're trying to give a wrong analysis. No, it's not. It's not wrong. Uh, in the first place, you can't say uh, this is a, On... a, a strikerless city. It's a strikerless no, no, city. No, they, they had they... a striker. Who was Who's a striker? The goal? That's a false the goal? striker. No, Jesus is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an outright striker. Pep doesn't even prefer Jesus no. in that team. He played and he scored the goal. So they had a striker. You are wrong if you say that uh, City <laughs> didn't have a striker. I you know? know you say you're wrong. You are wrong. But, but I'm right. Because Jesus scored and it was that. Jesus, Jesus is not a number nine. Let's get it Who right. Who is he? He's, is not, he? he's not a number nine. He's a number Jesus nine. Jesus is a midfielder. No, no, no. no. Jesus is a striker. He's, he's a number not, nine. Stop. He's the, the only top. Uh, listen, he's the only striker legend, that City legend. have. If Jorginho plays. Uh, a, a number a number nine uh, role in one game it doesn't make Jorginho a number nine no it's, Jorginho is still no, Simba, Simba. a midfielder Simba you are wrong Jesus is an outright striker he's not a striker he's never been utilized as a striker it's only in the, after Aguero left that we started saying well who can we use as a striker no graduate no, no. Jesus he's been, he been playing with Aguero uh, exchanging the striker role they've been the two strikers for City so you cannot deny that. Now the use is on a striker. It's a, it's a, it's a fact. It's, it's um, a striker. Um, um, again, Chelsea, it, Chelsea losing, losing to City. Uh, you can't say it's a, it's a very, what, Okay, it's, can you can you actually tell me what, where did you go wrong then against City? Of course, tactically. Uh, I think uh, Thomas Tuchel overthought himself uh, <laughs> the same way Pep did during the Champions League final. He overthought himself. He had so many ideas, could, and he said could, that could, ended up mixing himself. He overcrowded the midfield. I disagree. Yes, I disagree. Yeah, of course. Could you say mm -hmm. that the players who actually were fielded against Man City mm -hmm. were the players you expect to be fielded against any stronger side in the league? In fact, you could go back and say the same same players who've been giving you results in this game you've been playing are the same same one were fielded. They are the same. Then but what, but what would you say it, that he got it wrong? That's what I'm telling you. The formation of the team, the team style in which they played, because uh, Thomas Tuchel is used to playing three four three. But again, the City played 3-5-2. It means he crowded the midfield with uh, defensive players. And I mean, I, yeah, def and I, and I have, defensive minded uh, midfielders. Yes, I told you that, but I and, don't think and, he got and, it wrong. He got it wrong. No, 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 listen, Chilenge. You know, at the end of the day, no, no, listen. Chelsea was outplayed by no, City. No, 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 listen. Look at the analysis that you're yeah, doing. Yeah, that yeah. he played 3-5-2, isn't yes. it? Fine. Yeah. But for a team that has very good midfielders, yes. does it make sense to any other... Okay. Where are those midfielders? Listen, had, had Arsenal played 3-5-2 when we're playing against Charles, uh, when, we, when we're playing against Man City, mm -hmm. who beat us five goals, I do not think that indeed they would have scored those goals. They because could then, have. when you have a in lot fact, of, when fact, you have a lot of defensive-minded players played, in the midfield, Arsenal you cancel their midfield. No, because Man City is a, is a midfield Arsenal, team. Arsenal played 5-4-1. They crowded the yeah, midfield but, but and the defense, but, who was but they that, lost. But, but who was in that midfield? Arsenal players. But, 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 but who, who Arsenal did? players. No, Arsenal players yes. were not in that midfield. You know them, Arsenal players. <laughs> so, if you look at the strengths of Chelsea, if, you, you, if you've been watching Chelsea uh, game, the strength usually lies in the counter-attack. Yep. Like, yeah, I, I, I totally know And the counter-attack counter yeah. needs faster players uh, who are fast to the ball, uh, fast on the run to, to break. And when you crowd the, 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 the midfield with the defensive-minded uh, midfielders, yes. it would take time to make that transition from uh, defense to attack. 
it's going to, to cost you because is, is you, that not, you've, is, you've denied you need, creativity you to your need? team. Is that, is that not what you need? Before I ask you the next question, is that not what you need? You Man City are very good in the midfield. So Tuchel's idea was, let me cancel the midfield out. Because then this guy play from the midfield. Yeah, no problem. You cancel out the midfield. But what, what, what else? So, so, so then can't When you, you cancel out them, when you, you, when you get the ball, what do you do with this that, ball? That's fine. It's fine. So then can't you say then, you failed to beat Chelsea? Because you had the difference, man. Lukaku in that game. He did nothing. I Could you say that? That then you, okay. yes, the tactics worked, mm -hmm. but then at the end of the day, they didn't work. Man City are better than you. The tactics didn't work. But they could have scored you three goals. They didn't work. But they did not because of two kills. Remember, this is a big game where the margin is so close. Yes. It's so close. These are big boys. They're just trying to cancel uh, themselves out. The last time City met Chelsea, or let me say the last three times, yes. the goal margin has been only one goal. It means this team. They match up everything. Each player, everything they match up uh, man to man. It's only that uh, in the finer uh, details, the finer margins are the ones that make the difference. And specifically, uh, the coach's uh, uh, tactics, they're the ones that make the difference. In so, the Champions League final, uh, Guardiola overthought himself, just as I said. He never played with a striker. He didn't play with a holding uh, a midfielder. That's why Chelsea <laughs> were able to pick him apart. The next game, which is a Premier League far, uh, a, a first leg game, uh, took a now overthought himself. He crowded the midfield. He denied his uh, uh, striking op options. He denied them uh, creativity. They had nobody to take the balls to Lukaku. Lukaku was just hanging in there. He had so few touches. He never had the ball. He lacked service. That's why they could not break, up, uh, break down City. So let me ask you a question then. Um, when you look at that game yesterday, uh, Man City against mm -hmm. Chelsea, mm -hmm. would you say then, if we're talking about the best title contenders now, mm -hmm. then it was definitive that indeed Chelsea have the grit to continue. Sorry, Man City have the grit to continue than Chelsea do. Is that it? No. What, what do you wrong. say? No, because then very wrong. Because yeah. Because you see, the league is not about Chelsea playing against City. They have going to. What play. the favorite right now? No, Chelsea they are going to play against. The see, they are playing against champions. They are going to play against nineteen other teams. But, but this, this City, is just one game. But Man City has been managing these other teams no problem. really good. They, also so the deciding, the deciding game is actually, can we look at how the title can shape up? That's why Man you City see, was Man playing City, Man City is also going to face these other teams. Which they have been managing quite fine. No, they've also so lost far. to some to them. So far. They've lost to Tottenham, haven't they? They've lost to Tottenham, which Chelsea beat. So the, it just makes the league very interesting. When the big boys cancel one another, they take off points to one another. Now, the trick, the trick here remains, who can take points from the smaller teams? Who is going to take more points? And that's what I tell you, uh, uh, when it comes to that debate, uh, a team like Man United are now in trouble. Because if they lose to these uh, smaller teams, yeah. who are many yeah. in the league, and uh, they are going to cancel each other when the big boys meet. Still, still, let's clear like this, still confident that Chelsea... Mm -hmm. Is right within that title challenge. They are still in the, the, the title challenge. Still confident. Very. That, uh, still, so, so still confident that indeed when the Chelsea is stronger than Man City, just tactics went wrong. No, is we, that it? We, we we cannot say strong. I, I I can say they match. Chelsea can match City in terms of quality. I don't understand in, how you can. Uh, yes, I don't understand they how, can match. No, listen, I don't understand how you can't be better than them with Lukaku in your game. No, you don't need to be better. Let's hold you on. can match. Let's hold, let's hold you on can to match it. because uh, the next <laughs> game, uh, City is going to play against Liverpool. Yeah? If Liverpool wins, now do you say, do you say City is bad? So you can't say it's bad. Yeah. You just look at the way they won the game. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this, it's it's well, three points. This, you know. this at people, the end of the day, this it's, people it's a game of gaining it, three points or losing three points. So when they play against City, I mean against Liverpool, another big boy, another title contender, and they lose to Liverpool, or Liverpool lose to City. Yeah. Now, do you say you do you take the, do you take them out out of the of the rest? As I will look at I will, if Man City win, then mm. I will say Man City is now really becoming the better team. But if they the lose, but if they lose, but if they lose, then yes. I will look at it exactly how they lost, because then I expect also Liverpool to actually take a very good game to Man City. Uh -huh. All right, which is one we're going to talk about Liverpool next. But they are also not winning, Shilenge. Yes. What's going on it's against tell, Brentford? It's, only, it's telling you how uh, thick the league is. Our, uh, the quality and the margin has really narrowed. Yeah. Uh, the last two seasons, we've been talking about um, one team running away with the league and the other, the other teams are left to, to stumble, uh, struggle to get the top four positions. But now we are seeing a uh, different uh, uh, position whereby three or four teams are going head to head. 
uh, with the league going to the wire. At the moment, the first and the fourth team, they're only separated by one point and perhaps <laughs> the goal differences. So I think we are going to, uh, to see one of the best leagues uh, in the recent times where the quality has really uh, narrowed, that these teams are close to one another and the issues are the small details, the fine details, the finer margins are going to make the difference. Um, uh, in this case, who has, who has, uh, who, who can be consistent in the results? Yeah. Who can score many goals, you know? Uh, we shall go, it's going to make the difference. Let's so ask you about Liverpool uh, and, and their defence as well. I mean, they had, uh, what, what last season we were talking about how yeah. Van Dijk was really the difference in this team as to mm -hmm. why they actually struggled. Is not team right now. Mm -hmm. But again, this season, they're shipping in some good goals as well yeah. at the it, back. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is, is that time for us to look it, at it, it and then say... Eh, it comes back to our last analysis. so good. Simba, it comes back to our last analysis. When yeah. I told you, uh, uh, Ibrahim Konate is not yet the player. He's <laughs> not yet... <laughs> <laughs> fit to to dethrone uh, Van Dijk <laughs> or, or Gomez from the the the, the, the central defence. Yeah. And I told you, he's still coming in to adapt to the English football. You know, he has to take time uh, to be able to command that defence. But as for now, Van Dijk is the the commander of the defence. Uh, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, Chelsea played. Yes. Man City played. Liverpool played. Manchester United played, isn't it? Tottenham played, Arsenal played. Yes. So when you look at exactly these teams that we might potentially talk about, top four contenders, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Would you say that now we are seeing some signs of exactly how it's going to be? Who's going to edge out and actually sustain their, their drive to the top four? I can say these are early signs, but uh, too early again. Uh, when, 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 too a Liverpool, early. when a Liverpool loses against Brentford, yes. Oh, they, you, no, you, they, you have to say... They didn't lose. No, they drew. Oh, sorry, they drew. Against, yes. But without margin, 3-3. Free, free. I mean, yes. it was a weird game. It was yeah. a free-scoring game. You'd expect that Liverpool against the smaller teams... No, 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 would, no, no. You know, you'd expect that their defensive ability no, against the smaller wrong, teams Simba, Simba, would actually go in and, and, and stand there. You are wrong because... when Arsenal was losing to Brentford, they yes. didn't lose by three goals. They lost to? Brentford. Yes, two goals. Yeah, two goals. Two, uh, two goals margin. Liverpool drew. So it means... But they scored three goals. Yeah. For you to win, you got to defend. There's no problem. But you can see the kind of opponent. This is an opponent <coughs> who, can, who can draw with Liverpool. This is an opponent who can win at Arsenal. Maybe this same Brentford uh, team that we are talking about may trouble Man City, may trouble Chelsea, may trouble uh, Tottenham, or even uh, another big team. But to one level. Yeah? To one level. To, to one level. denying them points. As an because for, for them, as a small team, you, they, you, they, they have achieved. Ma Getting a point against Liverpool for them is a win. Yes. But yes. Let, let, me, let me go in. Um, Man City has played against Sorton that mm -hmm. they've drawn. Yes. Yeah, isn't it? They were not scored. Yes. They no, were, they were scored. No, no. Zero, no, zero. It was zero, zero. Yeah, they were not scored. Still a draw. Yeah, still a draw. They were yes. not scored. It's one point. Th there's it how, it there's doesn't one, matter. Uh, it, it doesn't matter the scoreline. I score think line. it matters at the end it's of the day. It's a point. It's a point at the end of the day. Your game plan against a smaller team is going to be... It's a point. They're a well-organized team, so we're going to go in and defend well and score. So when Liverpool gets caught three goals by Brentford, mm -hmm. and remember, this is a team that the best we can expect for Brentford to get to this season is probably the top one. The, 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 no, to avoid, be, to avoid relegation. To avoid relegation, yes, isn't it? Because yes, it's yes. coming in, the new boys in this, in this league. Mm -hmm. So when new boys come in, I, I expect for Brentford to be taught. Uh, Arsenal, he's fine. Arsenal were weak when they start in league. <laughs> but now, when they come in, Liverpool, they'll be quite stable. And remember, last weekend we were saying, well, they might be silent title contenders. Mm -hmm. And then three, three. We've been checked. Got to talk about that. No, for, for, for me, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not surprised with that. I'm not really surprised. Yeah. Because they, these uh, perceived smaller teams, uh, they have some way of coming up with a game that uh, at some point they love to go down with one big boy. And I really don't think it's a surprise for what uh, Brentford have done. And they are likely to do that to another top team. We yeah. shall be here, Hopefully and I'll Chelsea. ask you the same question. Hopefully not Chelsea now. Perhaps it will, be Chelsea, right it will be Chelsea, it will be City, or who? <laughs> so but I'll ask you the same question. When this, yeah. uh, when uh, Brentford, or let me say another team, another, yeah. another, another perceived smaller team, will have to hang up with one boy. It will be the same, same story here. Just to know that the league is tight, the quality is so high, and nobody wants to make mistakes. You have to be at your best. Oof. All right, guys, we take a break. You know, this week there's Champions League, isn't it? So hopefully... Chelsea wins because they have Lukaku. Arsenal, we rest. We meet over the weekend. Fresh legs, fresh minds. And then we continue our season. That started yesterday. By the way, it started yesterday. I don't care what Shilenja says. Our season started <laughs> yesterday. We only have three points so far in the league. We don't care about the other ones. Mm. It's fine. Anyway, guys, the journey to 200 still continues. So yeah. what you do? 
subscribe here. That's it. Like or you dislike. That's it.